Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. It's me, Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanui. Praise the Lord. Amen. My brothers, today is a good day. The Lord has made it again. Amen. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. So, the Lord have allowed me again today to minister his word. And I greet you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Before I continue, I want to thank our mighty God in heaven. Because he's the only father we have. is Jehovah Jireh, the King of Kings. Jehovah El Shaddai. Today... It's a good day, so he separated with other days, it's midnight here in Germany. So my sisters and my brothers, let us pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, almighty God, for everything which you have been doing for us, O oh God. Our Father, our Lord, you made the heaven and earth. You made the whole universe. It's the work of your hands. We thank you, Almighty God, in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I pray for this reward today you gave it to me and this good opportunity you gave it to me to minister your work and to preach the gospel. I thank you, Lord, for sisters and brothers who will be watching. Daddy, you may bless them in the name of Jesus. I pray also, Daddy, you bless me too in Jesus' name. Father Lord, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. When I'm going to minister your work, Daddy, let your will be done. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I pray, Father Lord in heaven, forgive us our sins. Anything we have do, we didn't know we knew it. I pray, Almighty God, Father in heaven, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray you wash our sins away the blood of Jesus. Father Lord, I pray you cover us with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you Lord to forgive us our sins. And I pray Lord to help us not to sin anymore. Thank you Jesus. I pray I cover this whole preaching, worshiping Lord and prayers with the blood of Jesus. Father Lord Almighty God, I glorify your name. I worship you and I honor you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Almighty. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So, my sisters and my brothers, the way I tell you, it is me, Sister Magdalene Emily Tanoi. Today the Lord have made it and he will make it better than also today god is good all the time all the time god is good hallelujah amen so my sisters and my brothers today we are going to read the book of acts yes the book the book of act 3 verse 1 to 10 the book of act verse 3 1 to 10 may god bless you when you open it let us worship lord the lord when the Lord say he will do it, he will do it. When the Lord heals you, nobody will stop. When the Lord say wake up, nobody will stop you. When the Lord say wake up and walk, nobody will stop you. Lord Jesus Christ, he preached in this world. He didn't collect any money from anybody. The almighty God Jesus, he preached. And he was doing good work. He was preaching for poor and rich. And he was so humble. And even now he's humble. He's even healing up to today. So the Lord today when I was praying, I was asking him to give me a fast to preach. He gave me this fast about a lame man is healed. So, before I started to read and to preach the word of the Lord, there is a song I wanted to worship Lord. The, long, the, Lord, the song says, 
when Jesus says yes, nobody can say no. And even when Jesus heals you, and nobody can say no. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus say yes, nobody can say no. 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 When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus heals you, 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 nobody can say no. When Jesus say wake up, nobody can say no. When Jesus say wake up, nobody can say no. When Jesus say wake up, nobody can say no. Nobody can say no. When Jesus say wake up. When Jesus say you are healed, nobody can say no. When Jesus say you are healed, nobody can say no. When Jesus say you are healed, nobody can say no. When Jesus say you are healed, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. When Jesus say today, today, nobody can say no. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When Jesus say yes, yeah, nobody can say no. Nobody can say no when Jesus say yes. When Jesus say wake up, nobody can stop. When Jesus say you are blessed, nobody can stop. When Jesus say you are healed, nobody can stop. Jesus is the king of kings. So, we thank God for everything. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, we are going to read and to hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Because... I am preaching this word, the word the Lord gave it to me today because we have to be aware for other servants of God who are serving Lord in a wrong way. They are serving Lord in a very wrong way. When you click in internet, you will see the servants of God, they are serving they are some, not all, they are serving the Lord in a wrong way. Amen? Hallelujah. There are many servants of God who they like money too much. Let me talk the truth. The truth will set you free. And the truth is bitter. Amen? Hallelujah. There are many servants of God who they like money. I can't say which country, and I can't say even the name of the pastors, because if you click in YouTube, you will see yourself, even the pastors themselves, they talk, they talk, because I preach this because I feel something which was paining me. One pastor I saw yesterday in YouTube, he was saying to... A servant of God, they were going home, they finished serving the church, and he tell him, Hey, you, stop. Don't go home. Give your orphan here. He has to pay some money. Normally, if people give their offerings, 
You give your offerings the way you can. Sometimes you go to church, you don't have. Sometimes you go to church, you have. And sometimes you want even to plant seed. Or sometimes even you want to bless the servant of God. And sometimes you don't have anything. So the servant of God, he was telling a servant of God, Hey, stop. Don't go home. Stand there. Give your offering here. Ah, wow. I say, what is this? I wonder. Okay, I didn't want to wonder too much because it's not the first. I've seen many and a lot. So this word of God, I'm going to read first. And then I will come back to say how the Lord tell me to say. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to read the book of Acts 3, 1, 10. Praise the Lord. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. A lame man is healed. Amen. Hallelujah. I read in the name of Jesus. One day, Peter and John went to the temple at, at three o'clock in the afternoon, the hour for prayers. There at the beautiful gate, as it was called, was a man who had been lamed all his life. Every day he was, cry, he was carried to the gate to beg for money from the, from the people who were going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John going in, he begged them to give him something. They looked straight at him. And Peter said, look at us. So he looked at them, expecting to get something from them. But Peter said to him, I have no money at all. But I give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I order you to get up and walk. Then he took him by his right hand and helped him up. At once the man's feet and knees become strong. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. He jumped up, stood on his feet, and straightened, walk, walking around. Then he went into the temple with them, walking and jumping and praising God. The people there, the people there, saw him walking and praising God. And when they recognized him as the beggar who had sat at the beautiful gate, they were all surprised and amazed at what had happened to him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My sisters and my brothers, this is the word of God which uh, I had to reach today and to preach today. And I am coming back. You can continue reading. Yes, you can continue reading. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So my sisters and my brothers, um, I was preaching about Peter and John. And when I preach about Peter and John, I remember also Jesus. Because Jesus preached the gospel. And he preached the gospel. And John and Peter, they preached the gospel like how Jesus Christ was preaching the gospel. Peter and John, they were not collecting money. They were using the power of Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. But my brother and my sister, we have to be aware. Because it is end time, Jesus is coming back soon. Jesus say, when the time will come, Jesus to come back, there are many things will happen. So we have to be aware. It's me. 
Sister Magdalene Emily Tanui. God bless you. I will be back. Amen.